Obviously you saw the new solo stuff earlier, but here we go. So that should all be set up now. Down in the bottom left hand side in the blue trunks after making his debut in the weekly a couple of weeks ago now, but he's back and hungry for more. It is going to be Kyrus. Up in the top right hand corner in the red trunks, it is the Titan himself. It is Jibs. Jibs showing no fear today. He's going for the fast expand, and so is Kyrus by the look of it. That's a little bit more understandable on this longer map. Lava Bridge is obviously known for being a bit of a macro map. But, uh, we shall see. Um, a little bit surprising, to be honest. Uh, wolves are pretty prevalent. But both players pretty confident they can just hold any shenanigans off. So, we'll probably be seeing, because it's 6 expand, it probably won't be Wolves Den. Wolves Den is something you normally do first, get the early game regression out, and then transition up into Dragons. Uh, but with this castle first, normally you can expect either... Uh, just sort of a barracks unit's timing, or possibly a dragon lair rush. But we'll see how that goes. I don't know why it's not the dragon's lair rather than the dragon's nest, but there we go. I think lair sounds cooler. So they're just going to give each other a friendly peck on the face. There we go. Oop. Hmm? Curious deciding that he doesn't quite want to give Jibs the respect for a peck on the face. It's always friendly. Give your passing worker a little boop on the nose. So, a little bit slower than some of the games we've been seeing recently. Obviously, wolves are really fast and aggressive, but that's fair enough. Now, Jibs is obviously one known for just using a whole variety of builds. I think we've seen him use practically every build in tournament. So it's going to be pretty hard to know what he's going for. I would expect some sort of forge timing out of him. Um, there we go. In fact, as I say that, there we go. The forge goes down. And curious again, not one we've seen much of. We saw a little bit, of him, uh, a little bit of him doing one racks and two racks stuff in a sort of weekly little while ago. But obviously the meta is completely different now, so we'll find out what his go-to build is going to be. Now, this is actually surprising, well he can get away with it because it's castle first, but obviously a Wolveston follow-up here would make the choice of Forge a little bit interesting. But the timing for that is about a minute away, so we'll probably get a house in the barracks pretty shortly afterwards. And back there's the house. Oh, can you see the red worker? They're just going to give each other a friendly little tickle, but Jibs is going to have to back off now. I did slow down the barracks, and I do believe he scouted completely what it was. Yep. So he knows what's coming. And you can just assume that there's a second uh, barracks coming up behind this, but there's not. Curious is actually uh, gonna mind game him a little bit. This is pretty interesting. Curious actually cancelling the barracks as soon as it's spotted and is gonna go into a dragon rush. Hmm, nice build out of him. Jibs is obviously one of those players who normally will just hang around and scout rages. I'm surprised he hasn't. Didn't hang around long enough to spot this. I'm gonna assume. No, he thinks it's gonna be a barracks follow up. That's pretty interesting. So there's gonna be absolutely no towers out of him. At least, like, not in his mineral lines. There's gonna be probably a tower at the front here. In fact, he's just gonna go for a barracks straight away. He's not even gonna worry about defending this. Plus one armor's on the way. And I think Kyrus might just uh, absolutely tear Jibs apart here. J 
Jibs is not expecting dragons at all. Oh, he did scout up there though. No, still not seen it. Is Jibs seriously gonna lose a match to a dragon rush? No way. Oh no. <laughs> no, Jibs, no. He's going for the double forge. He thinks he's safe with one Rex, but he's absolutely not. Double Forge is nice for the mid to late game, but there's no way one barracks is going to hold up against this. The fort is going to finish up here, and there's even an animal testing lab to give some extra little upgrades. Jibs is scouting around, but he's still not seen it. Jibs go into the main. Scout. Scout the base. And there we go, there's the double dragon's lair. Jib's just poking around looking for a third base. And Kyrus is just gonna wander in here with an absolutely massive grin on his face as he sees double forge with no towers in sight. One barracks in here. And uh, he's gonna be giggling all the way to the bank with this one. Oh no, Jibs! He's not even gonna go for Reichman first. It is gonna be soldiers straight off the bat. So even with this barracks, there's still nothing to defend this. He will of course be able to rush up some towers. Um He's gonna be able to uh, pop up some towers once he knows what this is. And uh that will help him defend it. And this is Jibs we're talking about. He is the Titan. He has been known to defend some pretty crazy stuff before, but I've yet to meet someone who defends Dragon Rush when they went double forge. Dragon's nests are about to complete, and yep, Jibs still has no idea that this is on the way. He's still just scouting outside for third bases. And Curious knows exactly what's coming. Oh, <laughs> I am very excited for this. It's going to be. Oh no, it's another soldier out from Jibs. It looks like Jibs is actually going for plus two armor soldier rush. Well, not rush, more of a timing is the correct word. Uh, Jibs actually. He's built up a lot of money. Is that all for upgrades? I'm not quite sure what Jibs is doing here. He just spent it on something. Okay, he got another base. And I assume that's actually just going to be yet more gold into upgrades. Rather than the three or four barracks you'd normally have on two base. Jibs going super greedy here. The dragons are halfway done and Jibs, I think, he's a little bit too confident in himself today. He's picked up every tournament he's been in so far, and obviously he does like, have a 90% win rate on maps. But I think a little bit of uh, a little bit of the Titan's confidence is gonna bite him on the backside. He is gonna have plus three armor pretty shortly, going into plus four, which is gonna be slightly ridiculous if he was expecting a whole bunch of riflemen, which he probably will be. But, there we go, the first two dragons are out now. Oh, is he going to see it? He's got to see this. No, no, Jibs is going to go into the main. The dra he's not even going to see the dragons for another couple of seconds yet. No, don't chase the worker, Jibs! Jibs, you've got to know what's going on. Oh my gosh, here we go. He does have three riflemen out now, but now he sees it. The two dragons of Kyrus turn up, and there we go, he actually cancels the soldier, replaces it with the rifleman. Kyrus actually choosing to pick off that one worker there rather than harassing the second mineral, second gold line. There we go, denied now, and Jib's going to have to retreat a little bit. And now Kyrus is going to have a nice little timing where yet more dragons are going to pop out. Jib's is doing a good job of denying this here, and he does throw down tower in the natural. Doesn't doesn't throw one down the main base just yet. I guess he's not got enough gold. But Kira's actually possibly with a mistake. He's trying to deny the third base 
You really don't want to throw away your advantage. I don't think he realizes how little Jibs has. If he picks off these two Rifemen, that's it. Jibs has nothing, literally nothing to deal with this. Two more dragons are on the way. He's possibly going to regroup with all of those. But the tower at the natural is nearly done. The tower on the main has started now. Here we go. He's starting to engage these Rifemen. One's going to get picked off pretty quickly at the front here. These soldiers are just going to stand around doing absolutely a squat. They do have plus one, plus one already on these dragons, which basically means the upgrades of the Rifemen are not going to do anything. There we go, the third Rifeman gets picked off. There's only two remaining now. There's Wolves going to follow this up to clean up all the rest. Kira's actually choosing to pick up the soldiers rather than the workers. I disagree with that. I reckon he could gut uh, Jibs straight away. And here we go. He's going to grab a third base behind this as two more Wolves pop out. And I assume another two dragons in just a second. This is six dragons now. Jib's managing to pop out a couple more riflemen, and obviously they are going to get a whole stack ton of upgrades pretty shortly. They're going to be on plus two, plus four, which is ridiculous. Like, no one should ever have, like, six upgrades at the eight minute mark. That's just insane. But, Kira's selecting to just take out this third base here. He has forced a lot of towers up to Jibs, but I reckon he can still just bomb worker lines. And that's possibly what he's going for now. Jibs is trying to get in position. Jibs is going to be pretty fortunate with all these upgrades stacked on his rifleman, but what he really wants is the attack. With base 10 <laughs> with base 10 damage, armor's not going to be as important. You really want the attack on this rifleman to try and actually pick these off. He's going to try and throw down the second tower here now. Kira's actually retreating from the one tower, which I do disagree with. He really should be picking up as many worker kills as he can. He is denying the third base, though, which is nice. And he's getting a third base of his own. <laughs> but, there we go. He's going to engage the Rifeman. He's going to pick some more off. He's under the uh, presence of a tower here, so he does need to keep control of those dragons. Possibly going to lose one here. There we go. He does micro it to the back. Jib's dropping down to only 5 riflemen versus 7 dragons, which is not numbers you really want for Jibs. But And these wolves are actually going to pick off this uh, third base pretty shortly here if Jibs doesn't do anything about it. He's keeping an eye on this fourth base, but that's not going to be important for quite a while yet. Regeneration of the dragon is slowly going to kick in, and he will be able to go in pretty shortly. Jibs is up to full barracks now, so that's going to help. These riflemen are really heavily upgraded, and that will give him a little bit more longevity. He might even be able to keep this uh, third base alive. There we go, the wolves are going to get pulled off to try and get out of the way. And here we go, the big swarm of dragons. Eight dragons now is going to try and engage this rifleman ball. They have a huge chunk of armor, which is going to help, but... They are going to start dropping down now, Jibs. There we go, already loses two, only one dragon falls, the third Reitman's about to fall in the front here. Oh my gosh, this could actually be it. This could be where Jibs loses a match to Kyrus. Absolutely fabulous showing from Kyrus here. Mind gaming his opponent completely, taking advantage of his confidence. Kyrus possibly not really making the best decision to let his wolves engage the soldier there, but more units are on the way and Jibs is possibly going to lose a third base. Even if Kyrus doesn't do anything else here, that's going to put him in a great economic position, allowing him to transition into something like mages, and mages are going to be a fabulous counter to these riflemen. I mean, the riflemen are great versus infantry, but they're going to lose a lot versus sort of AoE. And there we go, the third base of Jibs does go down, down to two bases now. And not much gold remaining in his main. Jibs is going to try and hold up a little bit defensively here, but I'm wondering if he kind of has to all in from this point. He does have some really nice upgrades, and I shouldn't underestimate those. But with the fourth base of Kyrus going down, 
I think this is too much. Kirsch doesn't really have anything on the ground though, and that's what is going to hurt him. He can't do direct engagements quite as well as he'd like to. And there we go, it is going to be a major skill to follow up. Absolutely correct decision there from Kyrus. He's going to hover around a little bit, force out yet more towers. I'd like to see him try and get some more worker kills, but this harassment is always good. He pulls back the injured dragons and he's going to try and deny this tower, but he's just going to keep that safe for now. Jibs has about one or two minutes left on this main base and then he'll drop down to about one base mining versus what's soon to be about three or four. And there's no way he'll be able to afford to keep up with sort of mass mage production which will be the follow up to this. Healing up all those dragons and obviously dropping fireballs into the mix of that rifle ball. Jibs is known to have fairly decent splits but even if a few get caught, it's going to be good enough really for Kyrus here. He's in an absolutely fantastic position. And these wolves obviously are going to have him scout, going to keep an eye on all the bases. I don't really see much of a comeback for this for Jibs at the moment. He's going to keep trying to get upgrades on his rifleman, and he may be able to get one good engagement. If he can get one good engagement where he clears out all these dragons. He'll be okay, he'll be able to march on his opponent's base and Kyrus doesn't really have much at home. And it's actually going to be a heal spell, so he is going to try and support these dragons as opposed to dealing with the rifleman directly. Not quite sure how I feel about that, but... Chips actually has a lot of riflemen right now, he has 20 riflemen. So that's going to defend all these bases fairly well. He's going to try and engage now, but he's only got half the army with him. This is not what you want. Jibs needs to absolutely bring his whole army together if he wants to try and take down these dragons. A lot of them are on low health, but Kyrus with pretty good control. One will fall there. But he's going to be able to back off into those trees. And Jibs is just pinned at home. There's nothing he can do. He's going to try and grab a third base again. But as soon as Kyrus spots this, he'll pick that off again. I think he's looking for an opportunity to dash into the main base. Oh, he's going to check each of the bases. Uh, those two are going to get brushed away. He's already saturated his third, he's going to saturate his fourth, and he does have two mages out in the field already. Jupiter's holding on, but I think this next transition is what's going to kill him. He's going to go up to two base mining in a second here as his main base mines out. <laughs> Although, Kyrus actually with not as many workers as he should do, I think he's... Yeah, I think he's oversaturated this base. I'd like to see him bring his mages forward so they can actually start healing up these dragons. And there we go, there's the worker snipe. Delays this base even further. This is a huge stack ton of riflemen right now. Which Kyrus doesn't really want to engage with. He doesn't Actually that's yes, plus four plus two, so despite the huge rifleman ball, he should be okay. Kyrus actually with the uh, maxed out supply block, which is why he can't get any more mages into this fight. So he really should either be throwing away a few wolves or something else. He desperately wants all those mages in his army. There we go, there's the wolves thing thrown away now. Just so he can pop a few more of those mages out. Ma mage transition is going to be absolutely crucial to his sort of end game here. Jibs has a chance until sort of fireball and heal spells start landing. Uh, Jibs at the moment isn't teching up. He's not got any sort of high level tech like dragons or mages out. So if he just loses this army, that's it. Jibs will be gone. And it looks like he's going to transfer into this third base now. But Kyrus can pretty just sort of roam around the map. He does have four mages, but once again they're not with... Oh, okay, so he brought the dragons back, healed those up. And he's basically going to use those as a sort of base of operations. And Jibs can't keep up. He's just going to be pulled around and around. And right now he's not even fully mining from his second base. It's... His natural's mined out, he's only left with one base mining. 
He's going to try and pick up a dragon at the back here, and he might get it. Not quite. He's not going to get it. He's not fast enough. And right now, there's not even anything that Kyrus has to deny. All he needs to do is wait for that fireball spell, finish getting his mages, and time is completely on his side. He's going to... Oh, he is going to lose one there. It's a little bit of a misstep. Dragons, obviously, with sort of a slow acceleration, you can lose those if you're not careful. But And he's just patching up all these holes. There's never going to be a place now for Jibs to really get into it. He might have an opportunity, but obviously if he goes and engages Kyrus' base, this base can quite easily be completely forfeit. He's going to try and grab another base here now, but that's going to get spotted pretty quickly from the dragons. And Jibs is going to go for it. He's going to go for this natural, uh, for this third base. But Kyrus now has five mages, most of them on full energy with fireball. He's got to see it now. He's got to come back and uh, deal with this. But fireball's going to clean this out so hard. He's going to lose a few workers on the side, which kind of sucks for him. But he can replace this with four bases. Here we go. The riflemen are going to get in underneath this. He doesn't want to let his uh, dragons get fireball. The Reifmen are going to retreat now, and here come the fireballs! Jib's entire army completely melts, and the mages aren't done yet. The dragons are still reigning absolutely supreme, plus four, plus two. Jib's is on the ropes now, and despite that nice little set of worker kills, that's not going to be enough. He's just going to pick up a few mages, but... Here we go, Kyrus finishes off the last of the army. Jib's is down to one base. And I can't believe he's done it, but Kyrus is actually looking to take a game off Jibs. The Titan himself is going to fall to an up and cover. Absolutely fantastic debut here from Kyrus. Very happy to see him in this tournament again. Jibs is going to try and get some mining done on this base from a long distance, but. That's going to all start getting picked off. Jib's now with a significantly smaller army. Only 7 versus the 24 he had a minute ago. The mages are just going to regroup. And this force is going to absolutely get torn to pieces. This base is going to be next. Here we go. The tower desperately trying to do something about this. But there's nothing to be done. Heal spells start landing on the dragons. Rifemen are getting picked apart. Jib's actually with the inferior upgrades right now and massively oversaturated on this base. This is going to be slaughtered. Jibs doesn't even GG. He taps out. An absolutely fantastic game one there from Kyrus. Oh, cool, we're up to 12 workers in the Twitch. And for <laughs> the first time, I think, in a tournament setting, I get to ask Jibs what the second map's going to be, as opposed to his opponent. And it is going to be the route. So that's an interesting choice. Maybe looking to go a little bit cheesy, a little bit aggressive. Okay, so Icy's here. He'll be uh, he'll be hopefully playing a little bit.
Here we go. Curious is in lobby. Damn it. And they are going to flip colours just to spite me. So here we go. Up in the up in the top left hand corner in the red trunks the titan himself but it appears he bleeds it is jibs his opponent going for a mirror build the up and comer is making a big showing in the blue trunks it's gonna be curious so this is obviously a little bit of a smaller map here but and obviously with two wide chokes. We have seen people go 6 expand and use this in base mine. But it is a map that's popular for aggressive builds for a reason. They do tend to work out pretty well here. We see a lot of proxy 2 racks, a lot of rushes. But we've never yet seen it in a tournament uh, since the wolf patch. And it looks like Kyrus is going to go for it. He's going to go for one wolf then expand by the look of it. Possibly looking for a second wolf den? Mm, nope. Okay. It's going to be one wolf den expand then. And his opponent is going to go Rax first. So I'm not quite sure how this favours. I do believe that the wolf den does have the advantage here because of the faster reinforcements. So in the early game, he'll have control. But pretty shortly it becomes quite difficult to engage Rax units. And, uh, if Jibs can get to this sort of mid game, he will be doing pretty well. <laughs> the Worcester is going to finish up here. It looks like Kyrus is, at least for the moment, going to start pretty defensively. He has rallied it into his own base. Whereas Jibs is, is looking to go aggressive. He's looking to see how much damage he can do. And with only one Wolf Den, he might actually do a fair amount. Obviously, normally it's sort of the 2 den for the 2020 build, but 1 den expand is almost as popular. And there we go, there's the expansion. So, Kyrus is going to pop out onto the map, and he will have reinforcements a bit faster. So, he might be able to get some damage done, but you don't want to engage soldiers with wolves. That's just painful. Soldiers absolutely tear through them. I think it's only something like 7... Oh no, it's slightly more than 7 hits. It's actually going to be about 9. 9 or 10 hits. And a wolf goes down. Versus, I think it's something like 30 hits for a wolf to kill a soldier. So, Curious is going to scout the main base of his opponent. He's going to confirm that it's one rack to expand. Well, he doesn't actually see the expand. So, he might be a little bit cautious for the moment. Jib's obviously one known to occasionally mix it up and go a little bit cheesy with the second barracks, but there we go. It is going to be the second base. And Little Worker's going to get picked off here down in the bottom right, but that's not too important with the second base coming up. You can replace that pretty easily. Kirsten's base obviously is going to finish up a lot faster with his build. And the rifleman possibly going to look going to get picked off here. It's going to take some pretty good wolf control, obviously, though, to uh, avoid the soldier if you can. Jib's doing a good job to keep them in range a bit, but with three wolves, that's going to go down, and the soldier are possibly going to get picked off as well. No, he's just going to skip straight past that. The soldier a little bit too slow. And here we go. Kyrus is actually going to get into the main base of Jibs. He's going to kite around these soldiers. Jib's trying to get a few hits in, but that's not going to happen until he gets closer. Jib's trying to keep these workers safe in the corner here, but quite easily this worker at the top right could get picked off. And yet more wolves streaming across the map here for Kyrus. He's going to continue to harass. Another rifleman's coming out, so that will push this away in a minute. But Kyrus actually was some very fancy juking there, pulling the soldiers around. And mostly this isn't going to do anything, but it is a cute piece of harassment. He'd like to pick off one of those soldiers, but it's not going to happen. Jibs is never going to let him have that. And all in all, that was actually fairly nice. He did a little bit of harassment. He got a worker kill. 
And with his second with his second base up faster, that's actually a pretty good position for him. Now Jib's doing the fairly standard uh, sort of follow up from this, which will be Rax Forge Rax. I'll be very surprised if he goes to double forge again here. But it is going to be probably plus two riflemen out of him. Having seen wolves first, you can normally assume it's going to be a dragon follow up. At which point, plus two riflemen is a great build to have on your side. Plus two soldier, obviously. A little bit less common now. There's just less compositions. There's, well, there's more compositions it's good with. But the fact, no one really goes for them. So, they do suffer a little bit. But, it's sort of a rock, paper, scissors. Kyrus getting himself supply block there, that kind of sucks for him. But Kyrus actually not electing to follow this up with dragons. Looks like he is going to go for the wolf, sol wolf soldier. Might be wolf rifleman, but wolf soldier is a little bit more common. Simply for the reason that you get to surround pin units in place and then your soldiers will uh, start doing a lot of damage. And Kyrus actually just taking my words and throwing them away. He's coming up with a build that I've not really seen done. I don't know if that's because it's awful or because Curious is original, but it's gonna be Mage Wolf, which is an odd combination. Wolves don't really have enough damage to warrant being the core unit of an army. And he will see everything, he will see the forge. Really nice scout there from Curious actually. Jibs tried to deny it, but he didn't quite get that. <laughs> Jibs is now going to move out, and I think Kyrus has a pretty big hole in his build. He's trying to tech up to the mages, but I think he's basing that on the assumption that he has map control, and they can keep his opponent back. Which he may be able to, with this sort of two-sided attack, he may be able to keep track of the army and go back in for more kills. But right now, Jibs is just going to march across the map, and I have a feeling that Kyrus just dies here. He's actually going to get a wolf picked off at the back of there. And he's going to send a bunch of units into the main base while this is going on. The Mage's Guild finishes up, but he's not going to have Mages for the longest time, and a lot of these wolves are going to take a lot of damage. Wolves try and dash into the main base, but they're met by a few barracks units, and they're going to get pushed away again. Kyrus not reckoning he has quite enough control to really take on both of those. And here we go, it's just going to be a few wolves for Kyrus. Total of seven. There's a soldier on the way, and mage tech is done, but... I don't like this position for Kyrus. He's going to try and get some damage done, and he should at least be able to clean up this force. There we go, the surround comes in, and he will be able to pin that to one side, which is nice. But, oh, here we go. Jib's actually getting one of his soldiers surrounded. He will manage to pick up a wolf on the top here, but a lot of these wolves are on really low health. Not actually with the great focus fire on the right-hand side here from Kyrus. He's going to try and chase down these riflemen, but... This that are stepping back and the soldiers coming in. He does clean up the main army in his own base here. So Jib's push for the moment isn't going to do too much. And the next reinforcement wave is just chilling at home. It's going to move out now. <laughs> but all in all, just army trade for army there. No one really got any big damage done. Which is possibly in Jibs' favour. He's got plus two armour on the way now. Um, with three barracks production. Well, there's three barracks production from Kyrus as well, I guess, but I like the plus one armour a little bit better. Sorry, plus two armour even. Wolves then, obviously, not going to be very helpful once this armour kicks in. Wolf damage will be cut down to half, which that, that's just not fair. Actually, no, I think it's going to be more than that. It's cut down to half on riflemen, but on soldiers, actually, it's going to be cut down to, well, a quarter. One damage. 
which really you're never gonna land 125 hits on a soldier with a wolf it's not gonna happen they're gonna do absolutely nothing like those, those wolves as soon as his armor upgrade kicks in that's it they're worthless I mean they're never gonna get 60 hits in but 125 literally worthless against soldiers uh, Kyrus is going to try and try and take a third base in the midst of all this, but Kyrus spots it. So Jib's uh, spots it is going to absolutely deny that. No way, that's going up. The majors are done though, and that is possibly going to be a comeback for Kyrus here with Fireball. But Jib's army isn't that big, so Fireball is not going to be that efficient. It's going to do damage, sure. But it's not efficient, it's it's not really worth it for getting those extra mages. He's got four of them. But here we go, Kyrus is actually going to engage without the mages just yet. They're on the way. And this is a lot of armored soldiers right now. Jim's actually upgrading, up, uh, going to the fight a little bit early. He's still got a couple of seconds on this uh, armor upgrade. Although really there aren't many wolves here, but... There we go, the first flame strike lands, Jibs is gonna split. Second flight stream fight flame strike lands on these soldiers, and that's gonna bring them down to half health, which might just do the trick enough for him to hold. But flame strike once again only landing on two units. Another one's gonna land on three, but again, that's not really efficient. Not for the cost of those mages. You really wanted a bit more damage than that. Another wave of soldiers gonna come in, and Kyrus is gonna hold once more. There we go. The wolves again doing nothing. They just fall down at the front. Juice with plus two armor is actually going to do fairly well here. He is going to back off now. And Kyrus is grabbing a third, but at the same time, Jibs has already grabbed the double base in the middle, which is essentially going to be his third and then his fourth. <laughs> He's going to back off for now, but so many soldiers are going to start coming out of him. He's actually going into uh, catapults, which is an interesting choice. Obviously normally used for just bursting down towers, but I guess it could kind of work. They ca they were used for a while to pick off mages, but soldiers were the more popular choice. I'm not sure about this workshop, but see what pans out for him. The next armor upgrade is on the way, and that's going to take him up to plus three. Pretty good thing that Kyrus has just stopped producing wolves altogether. They're going to be absolutely useless. Like when plus four, plus three armor kicks in, wolves are going to do zero damage against soldiers. They'll do one damage against riflemen, but zero against soldiers. And Kyrus a little bit presumptuous. He's going to try and deny this base in the middle, but that's going to not, not going to happen. The mages are on pretty low health. They have enough energy for about a fireball each. But Jibs just has Jibs is actually possibly the slightly smaller army, but plus two armor is going to be massive. Here we go. Kyrus comes in with the fireballs. Yeah, we're going to land on a huge chunk of these riflemen, so that's pretty nice. But the tower's going to start picking stuff off. All the soldiers of Kyrus fall at the front line here, and Jibs is still up and running. They're going to pick up another mage at the front here. The wolves are going to go down, and Kyrus on the retreat here. Burning all his energy to not really get much done. He's almost got enough for another fireball, and he's gonna try and toss it out as soon as that's done. But that was not the fight that Kira's wanted. And he's in a lot a lot of trouble. He does have this third base up and running though, which is nice, but Jib just starting to set up his own third. It's actually not going to grab any more upgrades, so I don't know why he's not grabbing an attack upgrade. He's actually floating a lot of money. I don't know where that's all going. There we go. I guess he spent it now on something. Not sure what he got spent on. Next upgrade set? Yeah, okay, so he's going to grab. He's going to grab plus four armor. And he's preparing a little run by on the top hand corner. With this base totally exposed, that could actually do a lot of damage. Bear in mind, workers are only going to do what? 
6 base, dropping down to... That's going to be 2 damage. Workers are going to do nothing against soldiers here. They're going to get torn to pieces. And uh, Kyrus' army is going to be pulled out of position again. He does use a wolf to just scout what's going on, but... He won't like what he sees. These soldiers didn't actually focus fire, so they're not going to get a kill just yet. And the aggro does pull them away to deal with these units of Kyrus. But Gyptus is taking advantage of his distraction to just slowly turtle up in the middle of the map. Um, that little harassment does get cleaned up, not really any damage done. I'd, I'd love to have a bar for sort of units lost, but we don't have that just yet. And right now, Kyrus has sort of the better army in terms of size, and he does have the mages. But with only three mages and two of them on, what, 10 and 14 health respectively, they're going to get picked off pretty quick if Jibs is on his toes. And Fireball is going to do deadly squat to Catapults. Oh, actually, that's something I hadn't considered. Catapults obviously have the base plus two armor. So with five armor, like, Riflemen are going to do basically nothing to them. And Soldiers are going to do about half damage. So these Catapults are going to take forever to die. Absolutely forever. And Jib's setting up his siege in the middle of the map right now. He's not quite finished saturating these bases. Not quite sure why he probably should do, but... There we go. Kyrus now going to come around on the right hand side, but you can see Jib's is already absolutely pre-split perfectly. Fireball's going to do nothing here. The towers are going to start to land a little bit of damage. The catapult's actually not managing to do much. There we go. Now the units are starting to stand still. The catapult's going to do a lot more. And you can see the catapults took a bunch of wax there and basically didn't lose any health. Jib's not microing his towers. He probably wants to if he wants to just pick off his extra few units, but... He's pretty content now to just roll across the top side of the map. Kyrus has added a bunch more mages, so that's going to help. He's got a stack ton of soldiers with plus two attack. So they're going to do a lot of damage to anything squishy. Well, by anything squishy, all that's left for Jibs in that respect is going to be something like a tower. Because look at this, plus four armor. It's going to be five for soldiers, six for um, catapults. That's going to be just ridiculous. Kyrus now trying to grab yet another base. He's going to open up this workshop as a flanking. And Jibs is going to send down another pack of units for a run by. The run by is going to meet the uh, tasty, tasty jaws of Kyrus' army, though. But that should give Jibs the hint that he can go, go, go on this top right hand side base. And there we go. Oh, a little bit hesitant. Maybe uh, not quite sure he can take it. This army of Kyrus is actually starting to get pretty scary. Like, obviously it doesn't have the same upgrades that Jibs does. But plus three is about to kick in. This is a lot of soldiers. There we go. Flame strike starts to land on the front mages there. Mages trying to back out of the way. They don't want to get picked off by catapults. And a lot of the soldiers are going to take hits. Jibs splitting really well right now. The catapult shots landing on a lot of important units. Flame strike actually hitting a lot of Kyrus' own units. Flame strike's not particularly efficient, but oh, that was a big hit right in the middle of Jibs' rifleman. They're all going to go down. And right now, Jibs actually. Jib's actually taking a pretty bad fight here in the middle of the map. He kept all of his catapults, but he just lost his entire sort of protection force of them. All of his riflemen went, sorry, all of his soldiers went down, most of his riflemen. And catapults on their own don't do much against soldiers in a direct fight. And this is going to be eight mages already for, for Kyrus here. Five more soldiers on the way. Is Kyrus going to do this? Is Kyrus actually going to take a second game? 
That was probably the biggest upset, I think, of the entire tournament. There's no way that Jibs is going out in round one. Not against a newcomer, surely. Jibs is going to have Flame Strike and Mages of his own. But I think when his next push comes in, there's not going to be much to deal with. Kyrus is lacking a few soldiers in his army. He's trying to replace all of those now, but we'll see. He's actually been keeping an eye on this base with his wolves from earlier. And Jibs is just going to try and turtle up the map a bit with these towers. That's going to work nicely for him. Actually, that's a gorgeous position for a tower. Um, but Kyrus is going to go for it. And I think if he gets fireballs on this worker line, that's going to be ridiculous. Like, I'd love to see him sneak in some mages in, well... There's a worker line up there, actually, and the wolves are going to try and do a bit. But plus four, plus four armoured workers are going to take. Like, look at this. Look at this, no one's taking any damage. They're doing two damage a hit. Like, just look at this. He just harassed for like a full 20 seconds and nothing happened. The power of upgrades, ladies and gentlemen. But Curious looks like he's nearly remaxed his desired army. This soldier made composition is kinda nuts. I actually prefer it in a way uh, to a lot of the other compositions. These wolves are just gonna be a little bit annoying and they are gonna go down now. Well they're just gonna back off actually. Oh but he will spot that! He will spot two mages of jibs. He knows what transition's coming. He'd like to pick one of those off, but that's not going to happen. But he spots the transition. And now he's going to know that he'll need to split before he goes into this fight. That's really important. Jibs otherwise could have got the surprise on him. Could have taken out some of his army. But uh, now he knows to split. He's actually going to be alright. And Curious now setting up a whole bunch of maiden soldiers at either end of his base. Possibly looking to sandwich his opponent. He's actually just putting a sh huge amount of gold. I think possibly he, uh... Okay, he's going to invest in double workshop here. But he does need to keep spending this. That's not something you can really let build up for too long. Jib's setting up once again to do a run by here. These catapults are, like, as much as they're not amazing versus sword and direct engagements, they're going to do 50 damage a shot. So, with what? Six catapults here? Seven catapults? If those open fire on something like a tower or a castle, that's going to melt. That's going to stand for all of two seconds in the hailstorm of rocks. And here we go. Jibs's. Siege Army is going to come around the top here and he's actually managed to incorporate a lot of mages pretty quickly into this. He's actually going to have comparable mages, well he's going to have 6 mages, Kyrus with uh, 13. This is going to be pretty dicey. It's going to be who blinks first loses because uh, mage fireballs get kind of silly in these sorts of numbers. Kyrus with the advantage in soldiers and in mages. So the catapults are going to have to do some work for him, but actually all in all, Jibs just has plus 2 attack. Like the end result is plus 2 attack for Jibs. Kyrus actually getting distracted down the bottom left hand side and Jibs possibly looking to take advantage of this. Here we go, the catapults are just going to, there you go, 2 shots and that's down. The catapult shots are going to land but they're not going to hit, the soldiers just let. Here we go, the fireball strikes start to land. Almost all these catapults drop immediately. The mages are going to die though. But not off they use up pretty much all their flame strikes. And that was about four mages to take out the entire catapult advantage there for Jibs. But Jibs can come in and fireball this worker line. That's going to be pretty brutal. Here we go, boom, boom. There we go, all of those are dead. That's a third of his sort of mining force. But Kyrus is going to come in from the bottom now. Fireballs are going to land on these soldiers. But return fireballs are going to come in from Kyrus here. It's so close. Here we go. Soldiers are going to take some fireballs. Jib's looking to step forward and land fireballs in the middle of these mages. 
which he does hit. But Curious has so much mage energy. Look at that. That's like what? Eight mages with pretty much half of full energy each? Jibs only has one mage's worth of energy. Well, two actually. The second one's here. And a few left over in the back, but not with the army. He is going to deny this third base of Curious though, but Curious has got another base down here, transferring more workers to his next base. The biggest advantage in Jibs' favour is actually just going to be the pure amount of map vision. Like, just look at this. He's going to see everything right now. There's nothing that's going to get by him. But, other than that, he's still going to be super careful about how he engages. Fireballs are still going to do a ridiculous amount of damage no matter how much you can see. Um, Kirsch is trying to reinforce his soldiers, but. I think maybe he just doesn't have enough gold. I think Jibs might succeed in bleeding him dry. This is so close. Like, I'm so undecided about who's going to actually win this. For a while it was going to be Jibs' push, and then it was going to be Kyrus' comeback. And now Jibs is going to take it, and I have no idea. Kyrus tries to pick off a catapult there from Jibs, but it doesn't quite go his way. Kyrus actually now the one with the uh, catapult advantage, 4 to 3. But Jibs has managed to even up the mages. Oh, I just don't know. I think the biggest. Kyrus has got a big problem at the moment. His economy is severely stunted. Jibs has got this double base in the middle, he's got this base off to the left here. And then he can move up to the one in the top. But Kyrus just needs those workers, he's not actually replacing them. I really think he needs to, but I guess he, once again, just, he doesn't have the gold. He needs the gold for workers, for the gold for workers, and that is going to be the catch-22 that kills him. Jib's floating a lot of money right now. Oh, does say a catapult, though. So, for Jib's right now, he just wants to start trading a lot of mages. That's what he wants. He's got enough money. If he can just trade mage energy for his opponent's units, he can then just continue to remax, remax, remax. And here we go. The mages set up a split in advance, but they start to ball up. Oh no, no, no! Oh my gosh. Jib's actually messing up. He didn't land a lot of those fireballs in time and just lost his entire army. That's not what you want at all. Kyrus is out of energy now. And he's going to try and step forward. The fireball just landing on a catapult, which is completely useless. The soldier Kyrus are now going to step forward. Five more soldiers on the way. Kyrus dropping down to 50 supply. Uh, both players actually dropping down to 50 supply. As their armies just get torn apart. Both players just going absolutely ham on each other right now. And the uh, units tab is going to say it all. Jibs actually did manage to get in with a bunch of soldiers into the main base of Kyrus though. And he might actually pick up a big chunk of mages here. That's not what you want. Absolutely mage energy to hold on here. Jibs is in an alright position though. He's still got about three bases. Versus Kyrus's two. Kyrus does need to get another base pretty damn sharpish. And there we go. Jibs's extra gold has allowed him to remax on soldiers pretty damn fast. And he's going to actually pick up a few in the middle here for free, which is not great. Jibs is possibly going to lose a tower on the right hand side here. These heavily upgraded soldiers are going to pick that off. Oh, no, he might come in to save it. Yeah, Catapult's going to do it. Look at that! There's most of the health of the soldier in, like, a single hit. And here we go. Jibs has got, actually, some nice fireballs. Oh, Jibs is actually missing a lot of fireballs. That's uncharacteristic of him, but it doesn't matter. He's got enough units here. That extra economy has given him enough soldiers, he's going to try and hunt down the mages of Kyrus right now. And is he going to do it? He's going to make a comeback. He's getting in on top of these catapults on the left. 
This extra base is going to go down. Curious actually not managed to get the last fireball off before he dies. And he's going to chase down this catapult. Works have been pulled to deal with that. And this is actually a really bad position for the soldiers. They want to be engaging with a full surround, not with the... Uh, not with sort of a choke like this. Jib's actually with plus three attack now. So that's going to be a big advantage. Curious is going to have to rely even more on barbels. But look, more run buys down on this next base. Work is already weak here. Kira says GG. And Jibs takes it. Jibs actually makes the comeback in game two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was absolutely ridiculous. Well played by both players. And uh, we are going to go to game three. I thought we weren't for a little bit there. But it is going to be game three. I'm going to ask here for that three, which I think is going to be the winter. And it is going to be on the winter. I think they're just waiting for me right now. Uh, let's actually update this overlay. And see if we can finally get Kyrus in the correct trunks. Alright, so we're just getting set up in the lobby for the next match. And we'll be going into the final game of this set. Okay, we'll be going into the next game in just a second, as soon as the uh, players have finished sorting themselves out. I think they're, uh... oh okay, Jibs is just grabbing a drink, so we'll just wait for that. I of course have my endless supply of coffee at my desk, so that I can just keep casting this all night long. And here we go. It's going to be on the winter. I hope my overlay is working because up in the top right hand corner, the Titan himself in the blue trunks making an absolutely ridiculous comeback. 
It's gonna be Jibs. Down in the bottom left. The up and comer in the red trunks. It is gonna be Curious. And frankly, at this point, he's less of an up and comer and more of a rising star. Because uh, that was a fantastic set of games to introduce himself to this tournament. I hope you all go find him in the lobby later and give him some congratulations. Because that was ridiculous. Even if he drops out in this round, I really want to see him come far in the lowest bracket. That was so good. Kira's going for the Wolves then here and Jibs is actually going to go double them. So it's going to be 2020 build out of Jibs here versus one den expand and this could actually go pretty quickly in Jibs' favour. Kira's can obviously wall off if it all goes wrong but that's not something you want to do lightheartedly. Just double check that overlay is working. So, two walls then are going to finish up pretty shortly here, and uh, Kyrus's one then is pretty much done. This could be a very short and brutal end to this stunning best of three. I almost wish it was a best of five, but we don't have time for that. So, here we go. The wolves are going to start to come into production right now. Kyrus looking for the expand. And, uh, so those of you who don't know, sorry, uh, when I refer to the 2020 build, uh, it's the 20 out of 20 supply. You quickly grab five wolves from a double den, and then expand on your maxed out 20 supply. Um, and then the second base will essentially give you the spare supply you need while you saturate your main. And here we go. Two wolves are now on the way. Kyrus is going to pretty get a pretty sad surprise as he wanders across the map. His castle has started, but uh, that's not going to keep him alive. Jibs is actually going to bait him back a little way here. There we go, this is the second wall. And Kyrus doesn't suspect anything yet. He's going to assume that it was just the uh, closer rally point. But he sees three now, he's going to see four. And at this point, Kyrus' heart has got to be sinking into his chest because he knows he's in trouble. He sees another one pop out. He knows what build this is going to be. And right now, he's going to be going for the wall off pretty damn sharpish. Jibs actually with a classic cheeky Jibs move. He likes to do this on bases on maps with double bases. If he knows he can take a nice aggressive control of the map early, he'll very happily take a double base. And normally his opponents don't scout for it, so he will get away with this. He's actually, there we go, the five wolves have stopped in production now. So it is going to be just straight up 2020 build. But Jeb's actually going for a house behind. Uh, no, he's going for a house and an expansion. Bit of a weird choice. Uh, but it looks like he probably will be going for a little bit more aggression in a minute. He's going to pick off this wolf on the outside. But what he really wants is to try and get inside. Kyrus has managed to smartly block this off with uh, two wolves on hold position. So Kyrus Jibs won't get too much done here. But it's going to give him map control for quite a while. And that map control is going to feed this base down in the bottom. And it is going to allow him to just keep pumping walls. There we go. This wolf is going to give him the run around for the minute, and the tower's going to go up to uh, keep Kira safe. But you can see there's only one worker difference in it right now between the two builds. It really isn't very much, and that extra worker is essentially going to be replacing costs by that tower. Jibs is very happy with his position right now. More wolves are going to pop out fear from Kyrus and he is going to go up to 5 but Jibs is already up at 9 wolves on the map 
And this base is going to start mining. It's going to be a little bit harder to saturate it, obviously, but it's easily worth it. Kish is going to try and sneak out onto the map, see what he can find, and he will... There we go, he spots it. Perfect reactions. He had, I think, literally about half a second there to spot that wolf as it zipped by. Right, he's going to go chase that down, and he will find it if he keeps chasing. But I think Curious will spot this base. Can we see where it's rallied? No, it's not going to show him where it's rallied. Oh, he's going to skip by it. And Kyrus is going to go for the for the Dragon Rush follow-up. But uh, to make him even sadder, Jibs is doing the same thing. Now, I'm not sure that particularly favours any one player. Uh, with such sort of close builds. But with the fact that Jibs has a double base, it's going to give him access to a lot more gold. So you can essentially get a free third... And for fueling, um, like, dragons layers, that's fantastic. Dragons obviously just eat ridiculous amounts of gold. Kind of makes sense, really. They are dragons. But, uh, the fort's about halfway done for both players. And uh, it is going to be a testing lab follow-up here from... Curious. I'd be surprised if there isn't one out of Jibs pretty soon. Testing lab is pretty powerful for the course these days. When dragons first came up, people would just get pure dragons, uh, not much else. And then obviously you'd, uh, people would go, I think it was like four dragon double defense upgrades. But with testing labs, it's now, you don't have to interrupt your dragon production. So you can essentially just get like not free upgrades, but it's a lot easier to grab the upgrades you want. And he doesn't see the double expand. I don't think he's scouted here recently either, so... He's just going to go around the map though and try and see what his opponent's doing. Does... Jib Jibs doesn't quite know, so... It's probably worth him just dipping forward to find out what's going on, but... He may very well know what's on the way. And it's going to be Double Dragon's Lair for both players. But I'm actually pretty worried for Jibs. I don't know if he invested too much gold into other parts of his build. And you will see that now. We'll see the Dragon's Lairs. I don't know if he invested too much gold into other parts of his build. But without a testing lab, he's going to lose that Dragon fight. The dragon's nests are practically identical in timings, and with one person having plus one attack, that's going to go pretty quickly in uh, one person's favour. There we go. The testing lab does go down in this bottom right hand corner. Possibly a little bit of a vulnerable position actually, but his upgrades are going to be quite a way behind, so he's going to have to play defensive. There's no way he can be aggressive as soon as his upgrade kicks in. And uh, Kyrus just setting up to have a lot of spare supply for those dragons. They do obviously cost an absolute stack load. Jib's actually made quite a smart choice here to grab the four on the nap on the expansion. This thing is pretty nice. And here we go. Kyrus is gonna get in. He's gonna see double dragons then. And he's got to know... There we go. He sees there's no fort on the main base. So he knows somewhere out there he's going to find himself a expansion with a fort on it. Yeah, the wolf is going to get picked off, but it's a nice chunk of information. And oh, he's actually uh, already found it. My bad. I assumed he didn't know. So he's going to try and run by this. But he does want to prioritize workers if he can. There we go, he's going to start picking those off. And will he really get any? We'll see, one might go down at the back of the pack here. There we go, one goes down. The wolves are going to get distracted onto the fort here, but... Jib's trying to shuffle these in through the trees. Oh, that's not the way you want to run, Kyrus. 
He's going to try and back away from these wolves, but the fort's going to get a couple of free hits. Dragon's nearly done now. And it is actually a pretty even wolf count. It's going to be 9 versus 11. And there are going to be upgrades fairly shortly now. Actually, I think there's, yeah, there's one upgrade already for these wolves of Kyrus. So that's pretty nice for him. But obviously the wolves aren't what's important. The wolves are just there to sort of distract each other, provide some micro, and uh, provide the risk of you getting sort of run by if you lose a fight or on top of everything. Jibs is going to start plus one armor now. And he does have two dragons riding out into the middle of the map, so Kyrus's wolves are going to back away from this for the second. They're going to get nothing done by... Well, they're going to pull the dragons back, but they're going to do no damage. Actually, a really nice city here from Jibs to uh, curl this round like this. The wolves are going to try and get in, but they're not going to do anything. Where are they? Are there no dragons out yet? For... There are dragons. Where are the dragons? I have no idea. Oh, they're down here on this base. Here we go. So it's going to be plus one attack versus nothing. But Kira's actually the one to back off. He doesn't want to get underneath this tower fire. That's pretty surprising. The plus one attack should have given him the uh, advantage for the moment. But he's going to regroup with the rest of his dragons. Jibs with the third just popping out now. Wolves actually still doing a fair chunk of damage. They got another run by in here. Don't think they actually really got any kills, but a lot of these workers are in their health. So another run by could do some more work. There we go. So Kyrus is going to come down now and try and put some more damage on this expansion. Jibs is going to come in to engage, but it is going to be plus to attack versus nothing. So 20% extra damage here. I wonder if the tower will make up for that. Mother, fourth dragon comes in. <coughs> fourth dragon comes in. So that's going to be way more than Jibs can handle. Jibs is going to have to back off if he loses yet more workers. Fortunately, this is not where they all are. Most of them are sort of either up in this main base or over here saturating. With these wolves sort of here to defend any runbys. But here we go, Kyrus once again finds the dragons. That one's going to go down. Jibs actually has nothing to defend. Jibs is in trouble here. He's going to lose one dragon at the back. He has another one pop out, but this is plus two attack. So Kyrus is probably going to take this. He tries to chase down that dragon in the back. And Jibs is doing a good job of trying to keep it alive. But Kyrus is doing the same with his. Here we go. Another dragon's going to get focused fire down at the back of the pack here for Jibs. That one's going to fall. It's now six dragons versus two. Jibs, GG's. And Kyrus unbelievably takes the set.